Welcome to the Art of Mortgage Marketing Podcast, where you'll learn the secret sauce, what it really takes to build a thriving mortgage business doing what you love without relying on cold calling or annoying realtors. And now, let's join your host, Doran Aldana. Hey, what's up, everybody? Doran Aldana coming at you with another kick ass episode of the Art of Mortgage Marketing Podcast. And today we're going to talk about why mortgage pros, most mortgage pros, never break the 10 deals per month barrier consistently and how to fix it. So obviously, there's a very small percentage of mortgage prof professionals. It's probably about 5% of mortgage professionals that get to 10 deals a month consistently. What is it that those 5%ers know and do that the other 95% don't? What is their secret? What is the inner inside secret that they know and do that no one else either understands or implements? That's what we're going to talk about today. Now, I've had the privilege of being on the front lines coaching mortgage pros to success for the last 16 years. So I've had a front row seat as to what are the nuances? What are the distinctions? And so I'm going to serve to you from a silver spoon, from a silver platter, the difference that makes a difference today, not just to hit that 10 deals a month once, but to be able to do it consistently and to have that be your floor, not your ceiling. So with that being said, let's dive in, shall we? The first reason why most mortgage pros never break the 10 deals plus per month barrier consistently is they have weak marketing. Now, what do I mean by weak marketing? Weak marketing is based on the fact that most of the people who get in the mortgage business, they're taught how to do loans, they're taught the mechanics of doing loans, they're taught how to structure the deal, how to chase the docs, how to find a home for the loan, how to do the money math. But if you don't have the marketing piece, you're gonna have skinny kids, let's get real. Because it doesn't matter how good you are at doing loans, if you don't know how to bring clients in, you're gonna be the best kept secret around, true or not true. So weak marketing is based on and is the result of being inadequately equipped when it comes to marketing. And it's not your fault because chances are no one ever taught you how to do it properly. Chances are you never had someone actually teach you the secret sauce on how to get top producing realtors to make you their exclusive without the hell of cold calling. Chances are no one taught you how to automate your database marketing not with cookie cutter crap from your company with a bunch of cookie cutter crap content from your company CRM. That's not what I'm talking about. I'm talking about quality touches, meaningful touches, fruitful touches that build those relationships that make you top of mind. So when they think mortgage, boom, you're the only logical choice. And so weak marketing is the antithesis of what you need to be able to hit 10 plus deals a month. Weak marketing looks like cold calling the same 40 freaking realtors every Monday. Weak marketing looks like not having a unique value proposition that's compelling, where it's just like, hey, I got great rates, great service, throw me a bone. Weak marketing looks like not having a system to be able to bring in a consistent, steady flow of quality loans into your pipeline because you just don't know what to do. You're like, basically, someone just meandering in the wilderness, unarmed and naked, without a plan, without a GPS, without a map, just kind of winging it, hoping that something pans out. Weak marketing looks like you being hesitant to pick up the phone because you don't know what to say. You don't have a meaningful reason to reach out and you feel like you're chasing, you're begging, you're bribing. You feel like you're groveling for business. That is weak marketing. Weak marketing looks like you go to a networking event and you don't really know how to take those conversations and turn them into connections that bring consistent closings. You're doing the activity, but it's not producing productivity. There's a big difference between activity and productivity. So weak marketing is basically splashing around in the ocean but you're not getting anywhere. There's a lot of activity, but there's no motion moving in the right direction. So there's a lot of energy expenditure, but that expenditure is not efficient or effective. It's just floundering, splashing, moving, 
but not really knowing the best way to go about it. You don't have a plan. You don't have a recipe. You don't have a blueprint. And you're both basically just taking stuff out of the kitchen pantry, throwing it into a bowl, mixing it up randomly, you know, putting a little egg here, a little milk there, a little sugar here, a little salt there, a little vanilla here, a little shortening here, a little, you know, baking soda there. And you're just kind of randomly mixing stuff into a bowl, turning it together, randomly choosing what temperature to put your your uh, baking temperature at in your oven and then randomly choosing how long you're going to keep it in there and then hoping that you're going to have a positive, desirable, delicious product at the end. And that may or may not pan out, right? You're hoping that it's going to pan out. Hope is great if you're in prison, but it doesn't make for a very good marketing plan, does it? We don't want you smoking the hope dope. We don't want you hoping. We want you knowing because again, this is called business. This is not just something you merely desire, wish, and pray that might pan out someday. You got bills to pay, right? You can't pay the bills with hope. You can only pay the bills with real commissions in your bank account, with real zeros and commas to be able to pay your bills from. So we can't just rely on hope. A lot of people are living in hope prison because they're wishful thinking. They don't actually have a proven battle-tested plan. They're just throwing yogurt to the fan, hoping something sticks. That is not a game plan, guys. That's just flailing. That's just winging it. That's like showing up to the gunfight with a butter knife and hoping it's going to pan out. Chances are your hope ain't going to help you much as those bullets are flying by your head. So weak marketing looks like being unequipped, ill-equipped to win the battle. And if you want to want to win the battle in a gunfight, you can't afford to be showing up with a butter knife. You got to be rolling out the freaking tanks. So weak marketing is the biggest reason why most mortgage pros never get to 10 plus deals a month because they don't have a system to get there. They don't have a plan to get there. They're living on hope and hope alone. And unfortunately, they're being fed bullshit from their managers and from other people in the industry that actually enable this. Like, man, it took me three years before I ever broke six figures. It took me five years before I ever got to 10 deals a month. And so what happens is you start to build a belief, a paradigm that this is really hard. It's going to take a long time. I'm going to have to eat Raymond noodles for the next decade before I ever break six figures and can actually upgrade to buying steaks and lobster. And so you actually expect it to be hard. You expect it to be painful. You expect it to be a slow grind up the mountain because there's all these bull bullshit stories that you're being told from your manager and from other people in the industry that might have been their experience. But when you own it as your truth, now it becomes your experience. It doesn't have to be that way. Just because they showed up to the gunfight with a butter knife, it doesn't mean you need to. Or on the flip side, they're telling you all the stuff that worked 10, 15, 20 years ago. Well, I got news for you. You may have noticed it by now. This is not the same industry, not the same economy, not the same world now than it was five years ago, five years ago, pardon me, let alone 10, 15, 20 years ago. It's a different world. You know it and I know it. So the stuff that worked for them, like cold calling realtors, that just doesn't work anymore. Number one, the realtors aren't in their office, number two. Number two, they're not even answering their phone. There's a lot of things that are different. We've got to find a way to reach them in a different way with a different overture that is compelling, that's valuable, that has them hop, chomping at the bit to want to meet with you. What's the difference that makes the difference in today's economy that works in today's market versus the you know stuff that worked in the caveman era 10 years ago? That's old news. That's old hat. That's from the dark ages. We got to upgrade our game. So weak marketing also looks like caveman methods from the dark ages that you're borrowing from your sales manager or the owner of your company that worked for them 20 years ago. But just because it worked for them, it doesn't mean it's going to work for you. They might be successful now, but you got to get real. The reason why they're successful is because they have 10, 15, 20 realtors feeding them a deal, two, three, four, five a year. And all that starts to stack up. They got a database of 500, 1,000, 2,000, 5,000 past clients. All that starts to stack up. But just because they cold called 10, 15, 20 years ago, that doesn't mean that that's the best method for you. And if you try and use caveman methods from the dark ages, 
chances are it ain't going to work out so well. You have a personal experience of that, chances are. So we got to upgrade your game going from weak marketing to super strength marketing. And super strength marketing looks like this. We've got to keep it simple, superstar, K-I-S-S, keep it simple, superstar. The shortest path to the cash is and always will be attracting top producing realtors and having them make you their exclusive without the hell of cold calling. The question is, how do you do that? Well, that's precisely why people hire us at MortgageMarketingCoach.com. They hire us because they realize that is not an easy needle to thread. That is not an easy code to crack. They realize that it's going to be a whole lot more expensive learning from their own mistakes, trying to reinvent the wheel through trial and error than to learn from an expert. So they invest in our proven system so they can condense decades into days, so they can get to their income goals that would normally take them 10, 15, 20 years to get at doing it the hard way. They can get there in the next five to 12 to maximum 24 months. So we can condense timeframes by working smarter versus harder. And it looks like this. It looks like actually having a compelling value proposition where you can actually help them take their business to the next level. You can actually help them close more deals with less effort. You can actually help them up level their game, not just closing deals on time, not just giving their clients a great five star experience. That's a minimum expectation to do in business. They would expect that from you. Now, that may not be average, but they still expect it from you. What's going to tip the scales of fortune in your favor is when you start to go above and beyond that by helping them actually fix the holes in their marketing bucket where they're losing steam, where they're leaving money on the table, where they're banging their head against the wall, where they're using caveman methods, where they're under optimized, where they're you know, spinning their wheels, so to speak. And believe it or not, even top producers, which are the ones that we recommend you focus on don't have optimal methods when it comes to attracting clients, when it comes to getting on Google with five-star reviews, when it comes to automating that process, when it comes to getting more leads at their open houses, when it comes to converting those leads into closings, when it comes to getting more listing clients, when it comes to mining the gold from their database so they can maximize their repeat and referral business. There's so many areas in these real estate agents' business where they're leaving money on the table to their competitors, and in many cases, unwittingly. So one of the reasons why mortgage professionals, smart, ambitious, strategic mortgage professionals hire us is so they don't have to try and figure all that shit out on their own. They can just stick their key in the ignition and drive away. But weak marketing looks like not having a plan. I hate to say it because it sounds cliche, but it's true. If you fail to plan, you're planning to fail. And that's why it's so mission critical, guys, that you get equipped to win. Stop messing around with the butter knife when you can start rolling out the freaking tanks. That's what I'm saying. So that's reason number one is weak marketing. Reason number two is tied inextric inextricably linked with that, and that is weak mindset. Because you can't have superpowered marketing without having a mindset that can unleash that. You can't have champion level marketing if you have chump level mindset. Those two just, just don't jive. You've got to be able to... Empower yourself, empower yourself to show up like a champion when you're implementing those champion level marketing methods. Otherwise, it's just not going to work. It's like putting the lipstick on a pig. It might look pretty, but it's still a pig at the end of the day. Now, that means you guys need to be showing up, seeing yourself as a champion, feeling like a champion, putting your shoulders back, putting your freaking cape on and owning the fact that you're the bomb freaking diggity and that you got something value to bring to the table. But if you're if you got stinking thinking between you know your two ears with those three pounds of meat between your two ears and you're feeling lack, limitation, scarcity, doubt, fear, any of that stinking thinking, it's going to take you out. Even one percent doubt will take you out if you let it. So you've got to be showing up every day in a way where your beliefs are in alignment with your dream, where your beliefs are in alignment with the champion level results that you want to create. It's like the Roger Bannister story, right? No one had ever run the four minute mile. It had never been done. Every, everyone thought it was physically impossible that the human body could not run that fast within a four minute mile. Impossible. And then there was a man by the name of Roger, Roger Bannister who had the audacity 
to believe it was true, even though everyone else said it was impossible, even though history in the history books basically gave him a multitude, an infinite number of references why it's not possible. But he had the faith and the belief to say, you know what? I'm going to start giving thanks for it in advance. I'm going to visualize myself doing it. And he would visualize it. He would feel it. He would train with that feeling of conquering the unconquerable to do the impossible. He would feel it. He would breathe it. He would start to build absolute certainty that it was a done deal. And before you know it, he freaking did it. Next thing you know, within the next 12 months, high school kids were doing it. High school kids, what was the difference? No one had ever done it before. And now high school kids are doing it. How is that possible? I'll tell you how it was possible. Because Roger Bannister understood, whether consciously or unconsciously, the power of his mind. He started to actually use his mind to imagine his dream realized as if he already had it. Then that created emotional, vibrational frequency attuned to doing that which he intended, which is to make history, not just to make do, but to make history. And he did the impossible because he visualized it as not just possible, but inevitable. He felt it like it was a done deal. And once he conquered the unconquerable and he did the so-called impossible, he gave license to everyone else that if Roger can do it, I can do it. If Roger can do it, I can do it. Now they borrowed his victory. They bought, they borrowed the fact that he conquered. Now I can conquer. That's the power of mindset, friends. But if you don't believe it's possible to get to 10 plus deals a month, I got news for you. You're never going to accomplish it. As Henry Ford said, whether you believe you can or you can't, you're right. So it all hinges on mindset. One of the reasons why mortgage professionals get extraordinary results with our coaching is we don't just give you great tools because it doesn't matter how many tools we put in your toolbox. If you got a leaky toolbox, we've got a problem, right? Your dream in your heart, God didn't put that in your heart to tease you or to tempt you, but to call it the best in you. And that seed of greatness in your heart that you know you, you're capable of so much more. You just know it. You can feel it in your heart. Man, I know I'm called to so much more. I know I'm capable of so much more. That knowing, that feeling, that intuition in your heart, that still small voice in your heart is God speaking to you saying, hey, you are not called to just make do. You are not called to just do average and be average. You were called to be extraordinary. You were knit in your mother's womb for a special plan and a special purpose. Awaken, my child. Spread your wings. It's time to soar. But you've got to believe it. You've got to believe it's possible. And so it starts with seeing yourself as a champion. Winners always find a way to win. You've got to see yourself as a winner and start cultivating a winner identity. All this bullshit was filling up my mental space and it was causing me to play safe and play small and be a shell of who I'm called to be until I just started to saturate my mind with the affirmations, the visualizations, the incantations of me owning my identity as a child of God and owning my identity as a winner and as a champion. Next thing you know, I'm showing up differently in the world. Next thing you know, I got more pep in my step and more spark sparkle in my eye. Next thing you know, I got my shoulders back and I'm wearing my freaking cape and I'm owning the fact that I'm called to be light in the darkness. I'm owning the fact that it's not about me. It's about the people I can serve, the people I can help, the people I can uplift, the people I can make a difference difference for. It's not about me. It's who can I touch? Who can I serve? Who can I make the difference for? And again, that's the way of the champion. So a weak mindset is being stuck in a prison of our own making, feeling inadequate, feeling like an imposter, feeling like we're not smart enough. We're not good enough. We didn't have good enough parents. We made all these mistakes in our past and we beat ourselves up. I should be doing more. I should be doing better. Why can't I figure this out? What the frick's wrong with me? We, I should be further along. And we end up shooting all over ourselves. We wonder why we feel shitty and why we're getting shitty results. We need to embrace the fact that we all make mistakes. So just forgive. Forgive yourself and allow yourself to own your humanity that you're not perfect. We seek progress, not perfection. And rise up and realize you ain't done. You've just begun. As Rocky said in the classic Rocky movie, it's not how hard you can hit. It's how hard you can get hit and keep on keeping on. Keep rising up and keep striving on because you've got too much grit to quit. That's the way of the champion. So in our 
coaching programs, we teach you how to show up like a champion. We teach you to remind yourself who you truly are. So you have champion level marketing with champion level mindset. What does that create? Champion level freaking results. And that's the key to breaking the 10 plus per month barrier, 10 closings plus per, uh, per month barrier consistently, month in and month out. And then the last reason why most mortgage professionals never get to 10 plus deals a month, let, let alone doing it consistently, is they have weak mentors. You see, anytime you look at the elite of the elite of champions in athletics or in any endeavor, whether it be in music, whether it be in you know acting, whether it be in politics, whether it be in business, it doesn't matter. Anytime you see someone doing something out of the ordinary, extraordinary, the dust on top of outstanding, what you will find invariably is they have champion level coaches, champion level mentors in their corner. And sometimes you'll see like, I'm a big fan of UFC. I've always loved martial arts. I used to, you know, totally geek out on Shaolin uh, monk movies as a kid. I thought it was just incredible. You know, Jackie Chan and Bruce Lee, I love me some martial arts. And so of course I love UFC because I'm all about seeing all that training, not just the physical training, but the mindset training culminate into outstanding performance when you're really putting it on the line, when it's just all in, you're leaving it all in the octagon. And one of the things that you'll notice if you watch some of these elite level athletes, whether it be the you know McGregor's of the world or the Adesanya's of the world, what you'll notice is that they often have turning points where they get into adversity. And sometimes the turning point to go from adversity into champion level breakthrough performance from breakdown to breakthrough comes because they upgrade their coaches, comes because they realize their coach could only take them so far. And now they're banging up against the glass ceiling because their coach could only take them so far. There was an expertise gap. There was a mentoring gap where that mentor could only take them so far. And if they want to take it to that next level, they need to get next level coaches. And so oftentimes that's what you'll see is you'll see them gravitate towards a next level champion level coach. And then all of a sudden it's like they go stratospheric and all of a sudden it's like winning streaks galore. All of a sudden they're wrapping that gold belt around their waist as champion because they invested in a champion level coach. They pulled out all the stops. And that champion level coach is going to help them see things differently, help them point out their blind spots, because it's hard to see the label when you're inside the bottle. You know, you just can't see. You don't know until you know. But once you know, you really know. And it's a champion level coach that helps to shine light on those blind spots. So weak mentors are people that they mean well, but they just don't have the champion level skill, the champion level mindset, the champion level expertise to be able to take you to that next level because frankly they're comfortable frankly they just you know they're they're they've been doing what they've been doing as long as they've been doing it and they're comfortable just doing it like that and so it's not that they mean wrong or that they're bad people it just means a lot of times these mentors they're making you know half a million a year three quarters of a mil they've been in the game for a long time they're teaching you stuff that you know they did in the dark ages they haven't kept up with the times they don't really need to because they're busy doing 15 20 30 deals a month they don't really have the time of day to train you if they did they don't know what to give to you because they can't give you that which they don't have and so they do the best with what they can but it's not enough if it was enough you'd already be getting to the 10 plus deals a month if it was enough you'd already be crushing it You'd already be kicking ass, taking names, chewing bubble gum and crushing it. If past performance is an indication of future performance, you would have already created that breakthrough. But obviously, if, if you've been under their tutelage for the last six to 12 plus months and you're not already cruising either in a fast trajectory towards 10 deals a month or you haven't already superseded it, chances are their way ain't working for you. So the definition of insanity is doing the same thing over and over again, expecting a different result. So it's important to be intelligent and just call a spade a spade instead of living in hope prison, hoping that eventually that which has never worked will eventually start working. That's the definition of insanity, friends. 
We can't solve, this is what Albert Einstein said, you can't solve the problem with the same mind that created it. You gotta upgrade your awareness. You gotta upgrade your understanding. And that's why people hire us at Mortgage Marketing Coach because they understand if they wanna get champion level results, they gotta have a champion level coach in their corner. That being said, if you're listening to this, you're like, Dorn, I'm picking up what you're putting down. I definitely am ready for a breakthrough. I realize my way is not working at the level that I need it to. I know I'm called to more. I know I'm capable of more. And I'm banging up against this glass ceiling. I'm spinning my wheels in the same spot. I'm doing it the hard way. I'm leaving a shit ton of money on the table. I don't know how to attract these realtors the way I know I could or should. I don't know how to mine the gold from my database and maximize repeat and referral business the way I could or should. I know I'm missing it. And I don't want to miss it any longer. I'm sick and tired of spinning my wheels. I'm sick and tired of settling for second best. If that's you, you're on 100% commission. You're making 80 basis points or higher in residential mortgage origination. And you want to increase your commissions, your annual commissions by at least $100,000 or, or more per year. Then I invite you to take advantage of a complimentary breakthrough call where we lift up the hood on your business. We look at what's working, what's not working. Where are you now? Where you want to be? And if we can help you create a breakthrough, by all means, we'll show you what that looks like. If not, frankly, we'll be the very first to advise you to pass on our services. Either way, though, you'll leave that call with massive value, massive clarity, and chances are we'll have some fun. Fair enough. So if that sounds meaningful and worthwhile to you, as it should, I invite you to book a call, mortgagemarketingcoach.com forward slash apply. So friends, that's it. That's the biggest reason why most mortgage pros Never break the 10 deals plus per month barrier consistently and how to fix it. My name is Doran Aldana coming at you from the Art of Mortgage Marketing podcast. I hope you got some value from this. If you dig it, give us a five-star review on iTunes and keep coming back. And most importantly, if you're ready to create a breakthrough and really start pouring some gasoline on the fire and create a quantum leap breakthrough in your business where you're making more money in one month, you used to make in three, four, five, six months, book a call, mortgagemarketingcoach.com forward slash apply. Talk to you soon on the next episode and be blessed, y'all. Peace.